What is up everybody out there in YouTube land? Jose once again from PetRockMedia.com back with another video and today we're going to take a look at a brand new bag that we recently purchased from a very very favorite company of ours here at the Pet Rock Media Studios. What company is that and what bag are we talking about? We are looking at the Peak Design Everyday Messenger Bag. Let's unbox it and talk about it. Alright everybody, thank you each and every one of you for stopping on by. If you're new here and this type of content excites you, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and punch that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time we post content to this channel. So being a fan of Peak Design, I really, really, really wanted to bring in one of their everyday messenger bags. We currently have an everyday carry uh, backpack style and then we also have the sling camera bag. But I wanted to bring in one of their traditional messenger style bags and they were running a sale at my local Best Buy for the 13 inch um, everyday messenger bag. And I believe now with the V2 versions of these bags, they only have the 13 inch. I'm not sure if they're going to be releasing a 15 inch, but currently with the way my kits are set up, even me utilizing an iPad Pro for a lot of my editing uh, on the go, this bag suits just well. Now when I was looking at other camera bags and what camera bags to go with, one of the ones that really piqued my interest also was a Think Tank bag. But I went ahead and went with the Peak Design bag. Who knows, let's see how this bag operates. And if not, maybe I'll be bringing in one of the Think Tank bags to check out as well. I did have an old Think Tank retrospective bag that I need to find and I'm gonna do an old, old review on that bag. But for now, we're gonna take a look at the Peak Design Everyday Messenger. So let's go ahead and get it open. Now the V2 bag comes in kind of like that slate gray color and then an all black. I have quite a few all black bags or darker color bags, so I went ahead and went with that slate gray bag. My everyday backpack is kind of like that blue, like a navy dark blue, and then my everyday sling bag is also this color, this kind of slate gray. So here we go. First thing you'll see here is the everyday messenger bag. It's the 13 liter, the 13 size. See that right there? It gives you all the little, what's in this little, um, this little tag, if you will. So you'll see all the different types of information that you can find on this tag. It's a pretty thick tag here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. So now with that out of the way, right out of the box, obviously everything is tucked in really nice, like you see right there. What I really, really like about the Peak Design bags, the backpack and the messenger are these magnetic tabs that allow you to pull down and then lift up and get right into the bag. And it allows for expansion of the bag itself. So if you're utilizing the very, very most top tab, it'll increase the storage of the bag pretty significantly. So that's one of the cool features of this bag. Although it is a 13 liter, it can expand up to 16 liters depending on the stuff that you put in here. Especially if you're not gonna utilize it as an actual camera bag, if you're gonna utilize it for travel, things like that, pack some clothes, you can definitely put that in here. Now this bag is extremely weatherproof rated um, on the bottom as well, as well as the top. The overall bag is just really awesome. And that's one of the main reasons why I went with this Peak Design bag. The everyday backpack has really come in clutch when it comes to uh, weather resistance, repelling water and things like that on shoots. Going on to the weather ceiling, the outside body is rated at 400D for weather. So that's really, really good when it comes to weather resistant and water resistant. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting this particular bag. Now opening up for packaging purposes, you'll see some of the kind of air poof things. I don't know the exact technical word for it, but it's air packaging, air cushion machine packaging. And then inside it is set up already for a camera purpose. So you'll see these, what Peak Design is known for, they're origami style of dividers. And what's really cool is they can fold really simple to kind of create a custom layout for your bag and what you're gonna carry with it. Now me personally, I'm gonna be utilizing this bag more with my Canon R5 since it is a much bigger body. And the lenses, although mirrorless, are still pretty large considering I'm coming from a Fuji lineup where the lenses can be very, very small, especially with the lens I'm utilizing right now. I'm filming with the 23 millimeter Fujifilm F2 version, and that lens is super tiny. So utilizing this bag a lot of times is overkill, but 
with the RF lenses from Canon, they can be a little bulky, so this bag is gonna come in clutch when it comes to carrying around that mirrorless package. So just to let you guys see, So just to let you guys see. So this is how it's set up. And you can see that these things fold very easily. And that's how it comes packaged. You can put two lenses or a body and a lens here, or as I mentioned, you can put a lens down at the bottom, fold this down, and then put another lens on top and then put one in the middle and then put your camera body on the other side. Now what I really like for this bag versus the version one is that the laptop or uh, tablet uh, sleeve is actually inside versus the older one where they had it in the back. So you still didn't feel like your laptop or tablet was 100% covered. Whereas with this one, they're inside the pouch. So you feel a little bit more sense of security when it comes to either putting in your 13 inch MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, um, or tablet, iPad, whatever. What I always like about Peak Design also is their use of other materials like magnets to kind of keep things secure. The laptop sleeve and tablet sleeve in the back are both utilizing magnets to keep them closed. And then of course, the magnets in the front. In the front of the bag, you'll see this zipper pouch and it's pretty thin, but if you're used to Peak Design bags, this is where you can utilize um, to put your keys, to put your wallet, to put extra batteries. There's little pouches in here that you can utilize for extra batteries, SD cards, things like that. And you can see them right there. Now there still is a pouch in the back, really meant for papers, things like that. I'll probably be utilizing it for some field notes, uh, little notebooks if I'm gonna utilize this for film, or just to take some notes if I'm on travel, things like that. First impressions as always, this bag is super quality. It's super well made. I really like all the stitching. I really enjoy this color, and I really, really enjoy the accented brown on the gray body. It's really, really nice. It feels really, really sturdy. You can feel that water resistance on this bag as well, especially on the bottom. So overall, first impressions, I really, really enjoy this bag. Um, it looks like it's going to hold up very, very well. Can't wait to get this bag completely filled up with gear. Uh, I've had things like that and take it with me on a trip. Uh, we should be taking a trip probably here in the next couple of weeks. I'll definitely utilize it, let you know my final thoughts here in a couple of months so that way you can make a decision on whether or not you will be purchasing this particular bag from Peak Design. As always, thank each and every one of you for stopping on by. If you're new to the channel, again, consider hitting that subscribe button, punching that bell icon, and I will catch each and every one of you beautiful human beings in the next video. Peace. Thank you.